I think that it will be okay like this. Just tell me if it's not okay. No, report. So I will start just make me flip a little bit. Yes, uh, I will start with the body. For the body, I will make a small piece. So first, uh, I want to tell uh, because most of you use uh, mainly um, mainly fondant. If you use fondant, just add a little bit tallow powder on it because it harder a little bit fast. Um, in my case, I'm working with Saracino modeling paste which is best for me um, it is uh, firm very quick it is really easy to work uh, it is very playful and you can see it's it's really really nice and playable and yes my favorite one till now so we we start with the body for the body I make one more be maybe a little bit bigger for the body I've mixed Saracino brown and some skin tone to achieve this color which is some kind of cappuccino so I will make a small bowl at the beginning you see make it like drop on one side be like this and just gently press with my finger so I can make a, a tummy of our squirrel So I will leave it down, just press a little bit where you want to be the shoulders. So here is our body. I just put a tooth stick on it so it can attach a, a head later. After this, I will make a body, actually the front part of the body, which is really, really light. I will use some skin tone for it. Just grab a little bit, make a sausage from it, grab a rolling pin and just roll out just check how long you need it to be good and now I will form just turn it out to be like this now we'll need a little bit cut from this side and down as well and same from another side try to be evenly So, yes, something like this. You should achieve this shape, which will be for, for our squirrel body. Just press it on place. Gently. Uh, 
press it with your fingers. I grab a small dental scalpel just to form the, the shape. To be nice and smooth. You can see the difference between both. So I will do the same from another side. If you some if you have some questions just let me know but I think that everything is clear till now so I will just press gently on the bottom side of the body where the legs should be just gently so I can form the place for for the legs be like this I grab more cappuccino fondant, just make it on sausage and press gently from both sides. This would be a score joints here. So just push with your finger slightly. You can see the shape which I achieved, and now cut. So, because our square is pretty small, just check if they are okay. Yes, they are okay. So, when you make legs. You should try to be exact the same, both of them. Otherwise, it will look pretty strange. So just be careful with the shape of the legs. You have one right, and one left. So they should be like mirror image. I'll just cut a little bit here. So now I will just push more, stay like this, and another one as well. Now I will put where the fingers should be, good, and just turn it to form the foot of the of the squirrel grab a dresden tool and i just make this to look more like a real one i hope that you can see well if not just tell me to move the the camera so now I will do the same with another leg just cut out so this is this one this will be Do the same with another leg. Like. 
just try them to be absolutely the same like this so now I will attach them on our little fella just grab some water I've used this uh, this water brush it's really easy for use for me Actually, you can use seedable glue as well, or some Tylo powder with vodka. But with sorts, you know, I think that water works per perfectly fine. So now I should touch the legs. More space for them. First one and another one, just press gently from both sides. Now grab our square <laughs> just help to form the legs. Okay, now I will do the hands with exactly the same brown. You can see our little fella. Hello, Sultana. Nice to see you too. Hope you are okay. Now, I will make the hands. They are pretty easy to make for, for this squirrel. They are just uh, some fondant sausages. So, I cut some fondant. Make it a sausage and just attach to the body. The tricky part is that they should be exact the same like like the the legs of the of the squirrel. So yep. I need a little bit more. Sometimes when I make something I just smash it and make it again and again and again. Do I achieve the same size so they will look nice so I've put first one to be a little bit up because it will hold um, Uh -huh. <laughs> a little bit help for my husband so uh, she will hold an acorn so it should be another one to be a little bit down something like this so we can put the acorn in her hands Now I will make the acorn. Just grab a little bit brown. I use the same brown which I use for the body with a little bit yellow on it because the acorn should be different brown from the squirrel so it can be most visible and nice. I'll just check the piece but it's too big so I will make it a little bit small get it make it a small drop of it like this and grab some brown darker you need darker one this will be for 
acorns hat. So make a small bow, just grab a bow tool, press it gently in the middle to form a small hole or not so small. Where should be the crown? Touch both parts. Just here it is. So I grab a, a small scalpel as well and put some stripes first on one side you can see i hope that you see well so first on one side and after this, cross them to another side, so it looks like net, maybe. Just gently press here and there, and um, like that. Here it is. I will make a small hole on the top of it so i can touch it already in her hands just press very gently grab a small piece of black of uh, sorry of brown just roll it Get it with the scalpel, maybe a little bit more. Yes, grab it, put some water inside, so it can stick easily. So I grab more brown from cappuccino lamb, one for the body, and we'll make a, a tail. Just grab a piece, make it a drop from one side, you need a drop from the other side. Mm, no, I don't like it. <laughs> Smash and start again. Just get the excess. Make it. Let's check the size. I think it's okay. What do you think, guys? Is it okay? I make a small paste with the dressing tool where will be our tail. Just put some water, touch the tail, now a squirrel. Here it is. Just gently press, press, press. I hope that you can see it. So 
So now I will start with um, with the head. So just cut the excess of the toothpick like this. Grab brown. I prefer for these toppers so to be very cute and nice and you understand me <laughs> to make a bigger heads so the accent should be on the heads not on the body just take the size I think it's okay just make a bow And I will leave it on one side to form a little bit. Like this. And this time I will make a flower for uh, her head. So I'll just grab some pink, your rolling pin. I use this flower cutter. Just make one one flower grab a mold or if you prefer you can leave it like this but i prefer with with mold make it a flower and put it on one side do you see who forgot to get the cornstarch when start the demo? Now we will try to remove the flower with the scalpel. So I will leave the flower on one side. Just to form as well. And we'll make two leaves for both sides. Just grab a drop of green. Cut it and I use a Dresden tool to make a mark like this. Just touch both sides. This form a leaf like this. Put it on one side and we'll make another one. Next the same or it can be a little bit smaller so make a small drop again press with the Dresden tool in the middle just so we have our flower since we made the flowers I believe that the head is ready for work. So I will start with it. Just take the head, squash it a little bit from the top side. And I will grab a, a bigger brush, which I will use to form where my eyes want to be just squash on the bottom i hope that you can see and now you can push with your fingers like this it's a little bit easier if it's here so just on one side other side Hope that you can see well like this. Here will be the place for for her uh, nose. Here, the place for her eyes. Now I will mark 
dice's place. Okay, be one here and one here. Try to be on on same space from the middle. Otherwise, it it will look strange. Like this. Now I grab some skin tone. Just check if the amount is right. Uh, a little bit more. A little bit less. <laughs> It's okay like this so now just press the bow from both sides like this and from another like this to form like a small pyramid like this put it on its place just press gently so you can attach it in half place it should look like this be a little bit higher Yeah, something like this. I will mark the place where the nose should be. The square nose is really, really small, so just be careful. Because if you put her a big nose, it will look very, very strange. So I will mark the place for the nose. And with the same tool, or you can use Dresden tool as well if you if you prefer. Just will make her mouth one little mark in the middle and just one for both sides for the mouth. Now I put it when the three comes together and just Put it down like this. So I will make the mount just nice and gently and careful. I will put some pink after look more sweet right like this oh here it is leave it for a while grab some black for the nose it should be a li really really tiny piece even smaller Put a little bit water, just a little bit, otherwise it will split when you put the nose. It will look really strange. So. Here is our nose. I just press on top of it. And F both sides. So it come like triangle. You can see. I just put two small holes in both sides. For the nostrils, okay, 
a little bit on this side. Can you move it? Yes, here it is. Now I will make the eyes. Just grab a black. This is the hardest part for me. Every time when I start to make the eyes, I will make them a couple of times because I'm this kind of perfectionist that want everything to be uh, exact the same. And when you work with life material like a fondant on modeling paste or whatever in our work, it's hard. I just forgot to put the water. So put some water on the hose. My hands are really hot and everything starts to stick on them. It's pretty hard to work. My main issue with my work, my hands. Put another one, just press them gently. Here it is. Now I will make uh, eyelashes. They are very easy to make. Just grab some fondant, roll it out like this, and cut two evenly apart. Maybe this one should be a little bit longer. Perfectionist, like I said, <laughs> it's hard to live what with myself. <laughs> My habit just start walking <laughs> behind my back. <laughs> Maybe it's hard for him as well. So I just grab eyelashes with scalpel. I leave for I, I don't know why, but I always leave this one on my hand. So I don't put it on the on the desk. Just Oh, come on. Yes. So just put it. On her eyes. And just. It's nasty. Don't listen to me. Go like this. And now I will do the same with another one. And just put it gently. Uh, or not so gently, because it's hard. Ah, no, I don't like it. Just will make another one. this I told you I make that them couple of times before I achieve the final result which I need and from this side just put the edge like this For the eyes, I always prefer the, them to be exactly the same. Because this is the soul of our figurines. And if they are not exactly the same, they will look strange. So 
I will mark the place where I want the arrows to be. Just this one, blah, blah, blah. And this one. And let, later I will paint it with some black. So we have the head. Just check the size because if the cupcake is bigger, you should cut it a little bit. And we have our head. And just form the head a little bit because from the laying on the desk it's become flat and it's strange to be flat so here she is i will grab from the same brown we will make her hair <laughs> just roll a, a, a small sausage like this And we'll cut out a little bit. Just put it on. Yes, this is our size. So just add some water. My favorite one. Water, water, water. Now oh, come on. And we'll cut the excess. Now I will grab my favorite tool. It is a scrubber tool from from uh, Gerard, and just make her curly because I'm curly and she she should be curly. So just use it and make it on all sides like this. Just roll, 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 roll. Careful with the eyes, not like me. <laughs> Make it. Add some texture. Put some curls here and there. However you like it. I like it more curly, but I suppose now I don't have enough time to make it enough. I like this. Just make it here, here and there. 
I hope that you can see it clearly. So we'll do the same on the back till the end. You can see. So if you don't use Saracino, like me, I advise you to use edible glue because it stick a little bit more hard than, than the water. Or I have saw some colleagues to make a paste from water and fondant and use it to, to stick the parts. Actually with Saracino, the good point is that you barely use even water. If you see me, I don't put water on the hands and even on the or the head as well. So just put it and it stick together. It's really nice. So now I will make. Here is her hair. Hello, how are you? I hope that you like her. So now I will make her ears. They should be exactly the same, <laughs> like the eyes. So I will make a row like this. Just press it gently. One side, another side. Okay, now I will use a Dresden tool to make the hair like this. My hands are very hot already, it's hard for work. Just pinch the top of the hair. And the bottom side to look like this. And when you cut the excess, this part should become on the head. I will press a little bit with the silicone brush to form this shape. You can see it. Just press a little bit down. Now I will make the same with another one. Just press with the Dresden to try to take off from the hands. <laughs> Pinch the top of the ear, the bottom side. Like that it says. And now you should put the ear on the same place. For me, but don't tell anyone, please. This is my hardest part. Because they should look. So again with the silicone brush. Press the ears. Like this. Now it's time to put the flower, finally. Left or right side? Come on guys, left side or right side? Where you want me to put the flower? Ah. Okay, I will put it on the left side. If someone see right, it's too late. 
in the middle. <laughs> really? <laughs> so it's on her right side. Here it is. So I put the flower here. And our green leaves as well. Press gently with the brush like this. Now I will use the rainbow dust paint percent white for the um, uh, the spots in the eyes to look like real. I prefer this one because it's it's really good for me. Just put one here and one on the side. And I will always, always, always put two small, really, really tiny dots. So they be two in the eye, like this. Just to clean my brush, I do apologize. Okay. And now, I will grab a puffy brush. Actually, this is one of my favorite. It is really good. It is from Makeup Set, actually. Just grab some pink. Now it's the funny part. I will add a little bit under her neck. Under the acron on the tummy, on her hand, on her cheeks, like this. On her legs, on another side as well. From the both sides of the tail. All her booty and some in the ears on top of, of her hair to be more pink like lady and put as well in the flower in the middle of the flower like this. And the final part is to put some color on the eyebrow. I use um, black. If you can see, it is really, really dirty. So I don't have enough time to clean it before the demo. After I finish with my order for today. I don't apologize for this, but so grab our little lady and just make ah oh, my head's shaking. And just make from one side and just gently flip her and make for another side. Nah, they are not the same. There. Here she is. Our beauty. Three hundred sixty video. <laughs> Here she is. So I will flip the camera. Hello. 
Who wants to give her a name? Anyone? How sweet is she? Thank you, Tashnu. I hope that you like it. I'm happy. You can make it smaller for um for a cupcake. She looked fine. Oh, I forgot something. Oh my gosh. I just forget about her mouth. So grab a brush. Oh my god. And put some pink in her mouth as well. Sorry, here it is in her mouth as well. So, this was our sweet, um, sweet uh, squirrel. Thank you, Tanya. Uh, I hope that, that you like it, guys. Um, so, I was really nervous. Hope that. It's okay. Um, thank you, all friends from Goa Bangladeshi Sugar Artist Guild, and thank you, Tasnu. Uh, it was a really, really nice to be here with all of you. So, thank you for the invitation and for this opportunity, and hope to see you again, guys. Thank you so much for everything. Bye.